Greetings friends. In this video, you will learn how all the mechanisms from the thermal spench fashion work on version 116.5, which I did not touch on in my first guide on this fashion. Sawmill. It is needed in order to efficiently process already felled wood. The interface is basically standard here, let's look at the recipes that it produces. The peculiarity of the sawmill is that if you put a log in this mechanism, then you will get two more units of the standard four boards, and it is likely that you will still get such interesting sawdust. These sawdust can be combined in a block of sawdust, respectively, which can be burned, thereby melting objects or generating energy. Phytogenic irradiator. This mechanism will simplify the extraction of plants, replacing farms. This is a recipe for a phytogenic irradiator. You will need an aluminum gear, a red flow coil, a mechanism frame, ground, two glasses of some kind. Let's take a look at the interface, it's a little different. Here we have a built-in liquid tank, in our case it is water, an upper slot where we put the vegetation that we will propagate and a slot for the catalyst. Let's go through the recipes. If you have a seed, a seedling, or the plant itself, you can conditionally multiply the number of these plants. If you have the appropriate catalyst, bone meal or phyto mountain can act as a catalyst. It is done as follows. Please note that for all recipes you will need water, so you should have enough of it. And this mechanism successfully interacts with plants from other mods, for example from the botany mod, about which I have already filmed a guide on my YouTube channel. Shock cooler. This mechanism will allow you to turn liquids back into solid objects by freezing them. For this mechanism, you will need two Invar gears, a red flow coil, a frame of the mechanism, two dense ice, notice the unusual and some glass. By interface. You have a tank into which you can pour liquid and it will eventually be cooled and turned into something solid. There is also the slot that is needed to place the form in it. Let's go through the recipes to find out better. For example, you can cool liquid honey into a solid block of honey. Here are the most useful recipes. That is, you can get a block back from liquid restin, and obsidian from lava, and ender pearls from molten endirium, if you have such a corresponding form. Pyrolyzer. This mechanism burns some items, allowing you to get others. For example, from some items you can get other items and liquid at the outlet. Let's look at the recipes. For example, throwing ordinary coal, when it is overcooked, you will get coke coal, with some chance resin and creosote oil. The peculiarity of coal coke is that it is more efficient than ordinary coal, that is, it melts 16 items. Ordinary coal is only 8. In this mechanism, you can get only two liquids, creosote oil and heavy oil. The first can be used as fuel in some types of generator, and oil is used in other mechanisms. And this is the recipe for pyrolyzer. Infernal bricks, mechanism frame, fire rod, two constant gears, red flow coil. Centrifugal separator. It will allow you to divide simple recipes into the components from which they were made. The interface is simple. Here we put an object, and here we get what it can be decomposed into and also a side liquid. For example, you can break down the bronze mixture into back copper plus tin. Also in this mechanism, you can recycle flowers into dyes more efficiently. But the most important and useful is the production of bitumen, tar and crude oil from bitumen sand. And this is the recipe for this mechanism. A tin ingot, two constant gears, a red flow coil, a mechanism frame and a compass. Multi-service press this mechanism compresses some objects into others. He can also squeeze liquids out of them. Literally juices. This mechanism compresses some objects. First of all, you can get plates. They are needed for most of the crafting from this mod. Also, if you install the following matrices in this mechanism, you can get new crafts. For example, with the help of a numismatic matrix, this is how it is crafted, an invar plate and an emerald. You can produce coins from various bars. With a gear matrix, you can use four ingots and produce a gear at once. It's more economical because if you're crafting by hand, you're using one extra piece of iron. 
you also have a packing matrix here. For example, the first packaging matrix, here is its recipe, two paper plates, two constantanas and a block of tosok. With this matrix, you can make primitive recipes two by two, as you have in your inventory, in the hand slot. That is, to combine four items into one recipe, four threads into one wool, and similar recipes. In a 3x3 three three matrix, here's a recipe, it's a little different. With this matrix, you can combine nine identical items into one. For example, to combine nine bars into a block, as shown here. And a simple packaging matrix, here is its recipe, will allow you to do the opposite. That is, in these two you collected, and with the help of this matrix you disassemble. And this is the recipe for this press. Two diamond gears, a red flow coil, two bronze ingots, a mechanism frame and an iron block. Distiller The distiller decomposes some liquids into others when they are burned. Let's open the recipes and take a look. For example, from light oil you will get sulfur dust with some probability of 20% in our case and liquid refined fuel. In this case, where the juice is, you get two liquids at once water and syrup. And here's a recipe from a dislater. Two invar gears, a red flow coil, two copper ingots, a mechanism frame and glass. Alchemical potion maker this mechanism, as you guessed, will allow you to make a potion. The recipes are exactly the same as in the usual potion cooking, but here you can automate the process by supplying liquids and these reagents with pipes, which will simplify the production of potions. Let's say you've made some kind of potion, but you'll just have it stored in the tank. Remember, in the first part of the guide, I told you about the thermal liquid encapsulator. So, pour this liquid into this mechanism, put some kind of bottle, a glass container and that's it, you have a potion ready that you can use. And this is the recipe for this alchemical zavarki. Two concentric gears, a red flow coil, two glasses, a mechanism frame and an ordinary potion maker. Sequential collector This mechanism acts as an automatic workbench, but consumes energy. To begin with, you need to take an item, put some recipe in this window. In my case, it will be an iron breastplate. Next, you click on the confirm button. Ok, now you can just load the ingredients, and it will continuously produce this item consuming energy and spending these resources here. I found a liquid tank here, but I couldn't fill it with water. I tried in different ways, but it didn't work out. Perhaps in the future a system of crafting with the help of liquids will be implemented here, but so far it is not possible or I just haven't figured it out. And this is the recipe for a sequential collector. Two pieces of copper gear, a red flow coil, a tin ingot within the mechanism and a workbench. Next, I will tell you about two items at once, a water storage device and a liquid cell. A water storage tank produces water if there are any water sources near it. For it to work, you only need two water sources. We have one, we fill the second one and the water is already starting to be produced. By the way, the crafting of this water storage device. For copper ingots, a red servo motor, two of any glass, one iron ingot in a bucket. The servo motor is crafted as follows. And to store liquid, we have a liquid cell like this. But in order for it to collect water, you will need to set it up first. We press the reception here, specifically so that there is a reception, it is the blue side and you need to click on this auto run button here. Now the liquid will be continuously supplied from our water storage. To make the water produced faster, pour water to each face of the water reservoir, then it will work more efficiently. And the cell is being crafted here in this way. Four vulcanized rubbers, two iron ingots, one reinforced glass, liquid cell frame, red-gray motor. The liquid cell is being crafted in this way, for copper ingots, for glasses, a bronze gear. Volcanic press The volcanic press can create various blocks of stone. For example, if you combine water and lava, add a catalyst, magma, then you will get a stone fried. If you combine magma and blue ice, putting the soul soil from below and get basalt. If you just use lava and into the water, 
you will get a regular cobblestone. There are some difficulties here, so I'll explain to you clearly how it works. First we will build a structure like this. Now we are just going to pour water here, and lava in the opposite direction, and we are already producing cobblestones. It is produced continuously, nothing is spent. For these two recipes, it is necessary that our catalyst be installed under a volcanic press. It's just enough to put this block and we will now pour back water and lava and we will make an ordinary stone, not a cobblestone. Here is a recipe for a volcanic press. For invar ingots, two blocks of glass, a concentric gear, a piston and a red-gray motor. The battery will allow you to pump dropped items into it. So I threw out granite and and it disappears instantly and is immediately in the battery. Here is such a recipe from our store. Four tin ingots, an ender pearl, a funnel, two of any glass and a red servo motor. An annuler or just a trash can. The annulator operates in several modes. What you put in it directly manually, you can destroy if you click on this button here. Also, this mechanism has a second mode of operation. It will instantly destroy liquid items that it has supplied with pipes or other items. For example, I have just stuffed the powder blocks into the funnel and you see they are immediately destroyed, falling from the funnel into the deflator and at the same time destroying instantly, you do not even need to press special buttons. Here is such a recipe for an annihilator, for lavery ingots, two glasses, a bucket of lava, rest and dust and a red servo motor. The wood squeezer will allow you to get liquids from some plants if it is installed next to them. This mechanism, if installed next to a tree, begins to produce a particular liquid. Please note that such a window has lit up here, if it is installed incorrectly, it will be black. Some trees it just won't work if they are from other mods. Let's look at the recipes. Next to the dark oak, it will produce sap, spruce, it will produce resin, with acacia, two, respectively, and with oak, two, with birch, two, resin, and with a tropical tree, it will produce latex. If you put a phytogora fertilizer in it, it will start working much more efficiently than if it worked without it. Please note that this mechanism does not have a side with how it outputs the liquid, so just put our liquid cell close to it, select the accept button here, Select the side so that it accepts and just press this button here and we have the resin already loaded. And here's a recipe for a wood squeezer with two glasses, an iron gear, four boards, a bucket and a red servo motor. Energy Cell An energy cell is a storage of RF energy, in it you can store energy or, on the contrary, Give it to other mechanisms that stand close together or with the help of pipes. I charged the generator, chose the right side and pressed this button, the energy is now supplied inside. For a more precise adjustment, hold down the contour and click on the minus or plus sign, you will add 10 units each. And if you pinch the shift, it will immediately drop to zero or the maximum value. The recipe for this cell is as follows, two iron ingots, two vulcanized rubber, a reton block, an energy cell frame and a red flow coil. The frame energy cell is crafted as follows. For lead ingots, for glasses, an electrum gear. The workbench of the masters. And here is such a recipe from the workbench of the masters. Two boards, a red flow coil, a workbench, two any glasses and three iron ingots. This mechanism is needed in order to charge objects with RF energy or fill them with liquids. For example, in this mechanism, RF energy is accumulated using a generator. Let's put this item here. We have the charging and filling mode turned on, and right now the item is recharged. Or we will pour some water into this workbench of the masters, put it in an empty bucket and it has filled up. This can be done with any liquid. A little not understanding how the update mode works, if it is turned on, the item stops charging, if we turn on the charging mode, then charging goes accordingly. The meaning of this button, if it is possible to disable the mechanism with the help of the arrested signal? If you know how this mode works, then write in the comments. That's it for me, unfortunately I didn't have time to tell you about the extension, 
because the video turned out to be too big, but I'll do it in the next part.